So I've debated for posting this video for about a week now, but I kind of want to start posting content that people can relate to or people that are getting into fishing might encounter situations like this. So a uh, quick little rundown. Here in Pennsylvania, we've been getting a lot of rain. It's been flooding like crazy. I fished a lake the day before this. It was about six foot high, just miserable. So I ran three hours south to Virginia and fish northern Virginia at a new lake. So when I got there, right off the bat in the first five minutes, and I feel like everyone's kind of gone through a situation like this, um, I caught two fish right off the bat, right on a secondary point, up shallow and about five to like eight foot. So where I messed up was I hung on to that idea. And if I can uh, see it in the clip, if you can see it on the GoPro, you could see out in about 25, 30 foot that I was off, you could see a bunch of fish that were actually suspended in the water column. So I'm gonna get into the video and then as it goes through, I'll kind of break down what happened and where I messed up along the way. There's one. Right off the bat, a little thing. First like five minutes. Take the sweatshirt off soon. There's one. the big girls. I don't want that. So after I caught those two fish, I want to kind of like pause it right here. I kind of got hooked on to the idea that they were going to be up shallow. The water temperature was reading close to 57 in some spots. And I wanted to get on a spinnerbait bite really bad, which I kind of did in the evening, which is later on. Like, I'll show the clips. But I hung on to that idea that they were going to be up. I was trolling along the bank pretty shallow, and I could see beds actually made. But the fish were pulled off of them. Because when we got there, it was a real cold night when we actually got there, which I think actually made them back out some. So I couldn't let go of the idea of beating the bank, you know, just big glide baits and that. I wanted to catch like a big large mouth that I've seen pictures of caught in this lake that I went to and it just wasn't happening. And not until later um, in the day I ran into a kayaker and he said the same thing that I was seeing, I just kept ignoring it, which was all the fish were pulled off of either points or steep banks and they were suspended in like 10 foot of water. So. I did that and it was boring and I'll show those clips but you know basically it was just like a little jig head minnow or a mushroom head minnow and I was just throwing it out and kind of just popping it back and I even say in the clip wow you know this is easy once I get on them but it wasn't how I wanted to fish so I cut myself short and you'll you see what happens. I knew something had to be moving up.
I never know if you're telling me the truth or you're just lying because you don't want me to like ruin my day. Oh fish. they want. It's good. Figured it out. Figured it out. <laughs> it's stupid now once you figure them out So yeah, um, I didn't end up catching a whole lot. I was catching them on that uh, little minnow on suspended fish and I just told myself, you know what, I don't want to do this today. I didn't come down here to do this. I wanted to catch a big one. So the rest of the day that wind picked up, I got it stuck in my head, you know, just big glide baits, spinner baits, beat the bank, that wind was pushing into them. And that's what I did. So if there's anything you can take out of this, it's to keep an open mind when you're on the water. I know a lot of people um, have encountered something like this where you kind of get stuck doing that or there's a specific bait that you want to catch them on and that's fine. I'm going to do it. It's going to happen again. But if there's one thing you want to take away from this video, it's to just keep an open mind 
and keep trying stuff even though you know stuff's lining up how you think it should sometimes it just doesn't so hope you guys enjoy the video and thanks for watching